Hi everyone and welcome to another Bible Reflection after King David had committed a terrible double sin of adultery and murder. What anguished prayer did he pray? Psalm 51.11 Do not take your Holy Spirit from me. He pleaded with God not to take away the Holy Spirit from him. Why? Because David knew if the Holy Spirit left him, he was doomed from that moment. He knew that only the Holy Spirit could lead him to repentance and restoration, and he trembled at the thought of becoming deaf to his voice. The Bible tells us in another place that God finally left Ephraim alone because he was joined to his idols, Hosea 4.17, and would not listen to the Spirit. He had become spiritually deaf. The most tragic thing that can happen to a person is for God to have him turn away and leave him alone. Don't let it happen to you. What serious command did the Apostle Paul give to the church in Thessalonica? 1 Thessalonians 5.19 Do not quench the Spirit. The Holy Spirit splitting is like a fire that burns in a person's mind and heart. Sin has the same effect on the Holy Spirit as water has upon fire. As we ignore the Holy Spirit and continue in sin, we pour water on the fire of the Holy Spirit. Paul's weighty words to the Thessalonians also apply to us today. Do not quench the fire of the Holy Spirit by repeatedly refusing to heed the Spirit's voice. If the fire goes out, we have passed the point of no return. My name is Ray Pueblo and I share relevant Bible-based content. If you have learned some truth in this video, please like, share, follow, and subscribe. The Bible truth that hurts is the Bible truth that heals. John 8.32 says, And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. This is all for today's Bible Reflection.